How we doing guys? This is DR Crypto here doing another quick tutorial about silicon or silk using the Atomic Wallet. Uh, I've been having messages for and also comments in one of my previous videos about some of you guys having problems with drawing. In one of my previous videos I was showing how you guys can claim it. So I told myself I'm going to do another video. This is going to be a two part video but I'm going to do this first one and then I'm gonna edit and I'm gonna put two videos in one so I can, you know, don't keep you guys waiting, you know, for the results. So I'd rather just do it, see what's happening, and then when it happens, let's do another video and then merge them together. Uh, before I go any further, I have to advise you guys, as always, I am not a financial advisor. This is not a financial advisor, just so you know, the purpose of this, vi this video, as always, is for an education purposes. Always, guys, do your own research before you take any actions. Uh, with all that said, let's keep going. Uh, here we are in my atomic wallet. Don't get yourself, don't get fooled by that amount. I actually don't have that amount. Just in case some of you guys know, because I actually had that question coming often to me, saying, "Oh well, I stake this coin, and it only shows me I only have this amount, but I only have." Um, let's make a number a hundred or five hundred or a thousand worth of that coin. It only shows me I have four cents or ten dollars, but that's not the case, guys. Sometimes there are some coins within here, like uh, Adam, I mean, Cosmo or Adam or Trump. Once you put it in state, they are on hold. It only shows you the amount that you have available, let's say, for trading or to send to another wallet. The other one is on hold during the stake in order for you to have access to those funds you need to unstake those coins you first first of all claim it you need to claim what you have otherwise you will lose those uh rewards that you have right here so you claim it after you claim it then when you have your funds then you click on stake them and it may take a couple of days some of this um air uh, uh coins or currency or tokens may take uh, days, some of them take three days, other ones takes uh, two weeks, etc. It depends on uh, which token we're talking about. Like Cosmo takes two weeks, 21 days. So here we are. I have a total of 2,622 uh, staking right now, as you can see here. It says right there that it takes 24,000 block since the unstake. stake. So let's go to the Atomic Wallet. Well, website, uh, we got a silicon. It shows here at 60%, but it's actually, so you can check here, total amount, well, it's 13 cents, so, and actually, yeah, it is accurate, but it says 60% ORI, but, and, or oh, 60% of the reward, but it shows here that it's actually uh, 15%, so just even by one. So it shows you here the amount in the calculator and everything. So let's not make the video too long. Um, here is um, most of the details for silicon staking in Atomic Wallet. The minimum amount to stake is 10. Uh, so uh, the reward can be claimed with every block, but separately from each validator. So always keep in mind, have at least 10 cell. But that's what it says here. The minimum for staking is 10 cell. But to take it out, just so you guys can get a clear look. Uh, to claim it, it requires 10. To stake it, it requires a little bit more, a little bit less. When I try to, um, well, I'll show you guys in a minute how much it will take for me to claim mine. So, I was digging through this, basic information, and here it is. Uh, first, at all, all you, uh, first of all, you can unstake your sale immediately after you stake it. So keep that in mind, guys. It takes, uh, it's not something that you can just stake it and unstake it right there at the, at the moment. Uh, for the moment, uh, for the moment, you delegate your your fund uh, to the validator. They are getting locked for eight thousand blocks, approximately one day. So it takes twenty four hours after you stake it in order for you to unstake it. After that, you can unstake your cell, leaving 10 cell um, 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 pendable, which um, pendable balance, which means you need to leave at least 10 cell in order to withdraw it to the validator by doing this. So the transaction to unbond uh, the fund and waiting for the confirmation, which takes 24,000 blocks, approximately 10 days. 
Some of you guys say that it takes 25. I got others that say it takes 21, etc. Other people tell me it takes two to three weeks. So I'm gonna test that myself. So here we are. I'm gonna click claim. Eventually, as you can see, my network fee is 31 cell. Uh, approximately four dollars. I got nine dollars of it. So I'll do this just so uh, I can see it for myself to see what's going on. Click claim. Eventually, it's going to ask me for my password. Uh, bear with me. Very long password in D. Claiming. So, already there. Already claim myself. Takes a couple seconds, a couple minutes sometimes in order for my silk to be clean. So it usually takes a couple of minutes. Yeah, but for the time being, so um, some of you guys have um, been having this issue. So like I was saying, I'm just test drive this myself. I'll split this in two videos just to make sure that everything is okay. If anything, and I got a contact, um, just to give you a little bit more information, you can actually just contact uh, support. They are right now getting hammered because um, in one of my previous stake that it was Komodo, I was having problem with the staking. They were having problem with the, with the network itself. So I decided to take it out and convert it into another coin until they can fix it. So far, they haven't get back to me. That's why I haven't made another video about Komodo because I have no information about what actually happened and whether they fix it or not. Takes a little bit longer for them uh, to get back to you due to the fact that they got high volume of people calling, and, well, not calling, sending messages left and right. So uh, this will take a little bit longer for them to claim in. Oh my God. Uh, wasn't expecting the video froze because uh, my battery just dropped down to 20. Well, I was I was hoping for this to take a little bit less timing. So, uh, wow. Well, at this point, if it doesn't kick in right away, I will make a second video and just uh, edit it and convert in all three of them at once. So, uh, just stay tuned. How we doing guys, Dia Crypto here, I'm back. Uh, just in case I can make the video, like the whole thing, I can make all three videos at once. Well, I'm going I'm going to split it in two. I just give you guys a heads up, just in case. Um, uh, I'm not going to go through the whole process all over again. Uh, as you can see, as you can see guys, oh wait. Shows me was 112. Huh. Oh, there he is. Uh, I got confused for a second. Uh, as you can see here, I got 112. Remember back uh, the video it took a little really rough, like four minutes um, for the for the claim process to uh, to push through four minutes. So remember when I did the first video, I got 56 cell. Now I got 112. So. I had to stop the video and do it all over because apparently when you unstake it, you can't unstake it all for some reason. Um, I'll send a message, uh, and um, not, I was gonna say a test message, but uh, I'm gonna send in an email and ask for information and why you cannot unstake all of them at once. So I got roughly like $300 of worth sale right now. So, as you can see here, if I stake it off, it says that minimum remaining staking amount must be greater than 10 cells. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, I'm gonna withdraw just 2,000 cells. As you can see, it does let me go through. It doesn't require me to, uh, to take all of them, see? If you can see the message go back all over again, minimum remaining, it must be uh, 10, uh, late, greater than 10 cells. So I'll leave 622 just to make this test dry, just to see if it works. And I'll click on stake. 
it will require me for my password again. Uh, let's see. Oh, wrong password. Bear with me there, guys. So I just have to do everything with one hand. Oh, no, I didn't run again. So now that I'm getting nervous is, um, you know, we always try to protect our assets, so we have to make very long, complicated passwords just to keep our crypto safe. And there you go. My crypto has been withdrawn successfully. So as you guys can see, today is March 10. It says that it takes 10 days, so it's by the 20. I don't get uh, my result. I don't see that it hasn't been on stake. I should have roughly 2,112 silk. And I should have the remaining staking, 622 uh, remaining staking. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait if by the 10, nothing happened, I'll give, I will do what you guys has been doing. I'm going to wait um, 20, uh, 20 days or 25 days. If it doesn't go through, I will still will do another video to let you guys know that there is an issue. And I will contact Atomic Wallet myself asking for an explanation and why my phone hasn't been withdrawn. So just try to do as much as I can, guys, just to make sure, you know, you don't make the same mistake in case you guys haven't made it. And for those who has, I'll do what I what I can as much as I possible to make sure that you get your silk back, especially for those who have invested a lot because I didn't even know I had that much because usually I look the number here. So when we go and check, we think we only got like partials, but we actually have a lot. So that's gonna be it for right now. So, um, I'll make another video as soon as um, on the 20th, March 20th, I'll do the other video just to double check to see the 25,000 blocks, which is equivalent according to then 10 days has been successfully confirmed. And if it did, then I'll do another video just to prove you guys that there's nothing wrong. Or if it is, then I'll contact Atomic Wallet myself. Like I said, you can you always go to support and email then chat with the support i haven't done that one yet but usually they send you a robot to answer the question and eventually send you back to for the uh, you know the more common questions and i don't like that i send an email uh to find out what's going on and why this is happening to see if i can solve the problem for myself and for you guys first of all so um i'll see what's gonna happen so in the time being just stay tuned um always as always i will appreciate guys if you just press that like button subscribe and press the little bell for notification as soon as i upload a video you guys will be the first to know about it so i'll see you guys in a bit and stay safe i am back guys um i have to do another video right there on the spot <laughs> it's still the 10 it's only been a couple minutes 11 31 p.m what i am <laughs> Well, apparently, um, as you guys can see, I got 62, 622 so staking, like I left it. I took 2,000 and left 622. <laughs> a couple seconds ago, it shows that I got 56, it jumped down to 110. But as you can see here, it says pending. The 2,000 that I, um, I would draw is being right now processed, waiting to be confirmed. To be on stake as you can see undelegated on second coin frozen for 24,000 blocks since the on stake so it should be by march 20th it should be all set it sh i should have exactly 2110 so i would say 111 roughly depends because you know the up and down of the network it can drop down a little bit it can go up a little bit we don't know so, but as long as I got the 2000 available for me to actually uh, send it to another wallet or to trade it in for another, for another cryptocurrency, it's just to prove you guys uh, if there's something wrong with the wallet or with their network, with the silicon network or so. So, um, 
oh my god i'm gonna end up doing four to five videos but i'll see how i can smooch all of them at once just so you guys can get a heads up but uh, uh like i said as you guys can see i keep going back and forward like this to see if it shows uh <laughs> that it dropped down from 110 down to 56 <laughs> like it did earlier but so far it hasn't it make me look stupid at the same time but again i just do this to make sure that you guys have the right information and the right tools uh to be able uh to get things done in case you get stuck or in, in case you guys think make a mistake you can always go back to one of these videos and double check before you make your move so again as you guys can see i'm still waiting on the pending um i'll wait if my uh my pending would withdraw hit my available balance before the 10 i'll do the video immediately to inform you guys and i'm uploading to my youtube channel remember uh drcrypto.com well sorry dr crypto i don't have a i don't have a website just this channel so um so you can look for those videos i'm planning to make more but more video about another browser that i've been using lately that i would encourage you guys to give it a shot as well uh name is nexo wait this is not it this is it nexo.com this is the one um i'll do another quick tutorial and this one as well so it's just so i can extend the video a little longer because uh i don't like to do videos like like uh two three minutes at a time I, that's not really my thing usually i like to get all the information and all the right details uh in one video so you guys cannot be jumping from video to video and go watch part one part two i'm not that kind of person i like to make my point across in just one video so you don't, don't it doesn't waste your time so you can go get the right information and continue to do what you do so again stay tuned now all i'm going to be waiting is either the 20th of march or if the my pending uh, withdrawal hits my available account before that time if it does video is going to come up i'm going to do it edit it prepare it and put it up and i'll tag some of you guys and if you still haven't seen him um i'll leave you a message in the previous video to let you know so you guys can see um what did i discover whether something went wrong or if everything is okay all right so again guys stay tuned and wait for the next video stay safe out there